Hey everyone, I'm Corey, and welcome to my writing channel, where I get into all the technical aspects of writing narrative prose in the hopes I might ease the learning curve for all you aspiring writers out there. In this video, I'm going to dissect a great writing technique I picked up on while studying the writing style of Herman Wouk, a renowned American war novelist. Let's get into it. Victor Henry was inexpert at self-excuse, having done too few things in his life of which he disapproved. Rhoda herself couldn't have been more at ease. The music of Hayden delighted her. She loved being highly visible in her new silver dress in a box so near the vice president. She was pleased that the concert was a sellout. She looked forward to the supper dance afterward. All this splendid fun was actually work in the noblest of causes, and her name stood high on the committee list. How could things be better? There's a lot that goes into making your writing flow, that is to say, giving it a nice rhythm or cadence, and one fundamental skill is learning how to vary the types of sentences you write back to back. So when I first noticed Herman Wouk write five basic one-statement sentences in a row, none of which had any punctuation or conjunctions like and or but, I was baffled. Not because the repetition offended me or anything, but because despite this repetition here in the middle, the paragraph didn't sound clunky or jarring at all. On the contrary. Every writer has a unique voice, and Wook's choice to string together multiple short, to-the-point sentences is one of his style's many signatures. Personally, I find it quite elegant. Instead of fussing over simple pieces of information that he'd like to convey, he delivers them in concise, easily digestible ways, then promptly gets on with the story. And it reads quite nicely, wouldn't you say? Because even though Wook writes five single-verb sentences in a row, without a single and or but, he varies how he organizes each sentence internally with respect to their objects and their verbs. Let's take a closer look at these five sentences. The first sentence is a negative statement, meaning that if you replace these words with the word was, the sentence would mean more or less the same thing. This is a subtle way of reorganizing a sentence to avoid writing the word was if you plan to write another was sentence without sounding repetitive, as Wook does here. In the second sentence, the music is the doer instead of Rhoda or she. Instead of writing, she was delighted by the music of Hayden, Wook flips it around so that it's the music of Hayden that delighted her. This is another way you can reorganize a sentence internally. The third sentence is a simple active statement, beginning with she loved. The fourth sentence is a simple passive statement, beginning with she was. And the fifth is another active statement, starting with she looked. If you're not sure what I mean by active and passive, I have a video linked below that should help. But essentially, active is when you put the verb right after the object, avoiding words like was. But getting back to Wook's varying of sentence structure, what he's doing here is slipping a passive statement between two active statements. This is a simple, tried and true way of varying the internal structures of successive sentences. The sixth sentence is passive, and Wook uses all this splendid fun as the object of his description, instead of Rhoda or she. He then breaks his five sentence long repetition of short, single statement sentences using a comma and structure, which allows the paragraph to breathe. Notice how repetitive it would sound if Wook had organized the internals of each sentence the same way. Rhoda herself was at ease. She was delighted by the music of Hayden. She was highly visible in her new silver dress in a box so near the vice president. She was pleased that the concert was a sellout. She was looking forward to the supper dance afterward. Repetitive, right? Even a little jarring. I never like to say never when it comes to styles of writing, but let's just say I wouldn't make a habit of putting sentences back to back if they are organized the exact same way, in this case all arranged in the passive structure she was, and stating one piece of information without any conjunctions. Remember, you always want to mix up what you're describing as well as how you're describing it. Anyway, I hope you find this technique useful. Give it a try next time you sit down to write, and be sure to like and subscribe for more technical writing videos.